Right, so I'd like to show you using sellotape how to attach these together and um, to give me the effect I want. Now I've cut out um, a selection of shapes and I'm still thinking of bringing those up in the centre. So I've got a selection of shapes there and a section of circles and I could put one on top of the other. So each one of those circles would be cut out with paste and then they'd be layered on top of each other. The, the thickness of the paste would also give that a little bit more height, which would be quite nice. I could then arrange my circles from top and to, to stand up at the back and decide how that might look. And I can, you know, I can do this on paper or I can do this um, on here. I could set aside them all together. Now, cutting a circle is quite easy because what I've done, I've cut them out from card. So I've drawn around a piece of card, cut them out, and then that's given me lots of shapes. If you've got sort of cookie cutters and that's the shape you want, then use those. Um, if you want it so that it's an unusual shape, a geometric shape, then you, I'll show you how to draw them. But you've got to be very careful to get accurate. So I'm just attaching these together. Just using some type. Okay. Set at the back as well. Another way you can do it is resize your shape that you want. So if it's um, a heart and I haven't got a cutter, then I could um, look up on the internet for a heart shape. I could trace around it and use it that way. So I just realised you can't see very well. So I've set the tape those together. And that would give me an idea of, is that the right shape I want? Is it the right height? Are these the right sizes? Is they all in proportion? I've just got to remember the thickness of this paste will bring it up to about that height. And that would be quite, quite nice. And I was just thinking of bringing that nice curve around the front. So when you're drawing anything that's accurate, you need to be accurate with this, is um, I'm using the straight edge of um, this piece of card or a piece of paper. I can um, I'll bring that in two centimetres. I'm using a pen so that you can see it easy. I could use graph paper. Graph paper is brilliant for this sort of thing. And I'm going to draw a centre line and that will, I know that's nice and straight. I've drawn one here in pencil that's to get that curve that starts at a point and finishes at a wider point. But what I'm thinking of doing, I'm thinking of starting for this curve, this one want, is perhaps start thin, come a little bit wider and then come thin again as I come around. So I'm going to draw coming out from that point and then I'm going to measure the same measurement here so that measurement is eight millimeters so I'm just going to do the same this side and join it up and then I'm thinking of going in again to get that curve So it's not just a matter of drawing lines, you need to measure, you need to, and you know, you can't do freehand. Then I can cut it out. And of course it's very difficult to imagine it in 3D. And it's so important when you're working with pastelage to 
do a model in 3D that I'm doing now so that um, I can see if it works or not. And the, all these can be used as my templates for pastelage. So I can curve that round. Just to see if it's the shape I want. Or you can use the edge of the table and the shape. Around. So bring in that to a nice curve. Now I think really that would be nice, a little bit wider, but I'm going to give it a go. So I've got my pastel line, so imagine these discs I cut out, I can use a cutter to cut it out of the pastel line, leave them to dry and then I can stand them up. I'd leave theirs to dry and then what I can do is once they're dry, attach them, leave it to dry before I stand them up. So place that there. I'm just thinking about this curve. So bring in that curve around in the front. Now you know something like this can you can just move it around to see how you would like it to stand. That's quite nice. I'm thinking of it curving round the front and the back. I could place it like that. Make it a bit higher. Yep. That'll give me a nice 3D image. But I still think that would look a little bit nicer if it was wider. So back to my card and my piece of paper. If you have got some card, it is better to draw it out on card because as you can see when you're doing um, the cutouts. In a 3D image, you can see if it works. So that was one and a half centimeters wide. Shall I go over two centimeters or a little bit more? I think. And this is where I can, I can alter it. So that's a little bit wider. I think I might go a little bit wider still. Now the reason you need to be very accurate with this is so that it looks right on your pastelage piece. It's, you know, I'm just saving a little bit of time by actually producing my template and then seeing how well it works in the 3D image. So I'm putting those out of card. do your pastelage, the basic principles of doing it. I'll detach this here. Yeah, I could bring it a little bit higher. Okay. So I can sit, sit that down, take a photograph of it, 
so I'll remember it. I could also think about colours, I can think about texturing, so I could texture each one of these discs differently, not forgetting the back because the back's always important as well as the front. Nobody just looks at the back of the cake if they're looking from it to all angles. Okay. There we go. So I taped it together. So I do that like it's up to about there. My front. I've got the thickness of my paste here. Okay. Thank you.